Hey guys, let's take a look at uh, some value problems. First off, let's take a look um, at the method that we used to do one of the old ones, but the quarters and the nickels. So Charlie has 20 quarters and nickels worth $2.40. How many of each does he have? Well, you know, when you have two unknowns, you need two equations to solve it. So we need to come up with two equations based on that little teeny paragraph. So he has 20 quarters and nickels, which means we're gonna say, okay, we got Q plus D, <laughs> nickels of course starts with the letter D. Okay, I got an N equals, there's 20 of them, right? Okay, so there are 20 number of quarters and nickels. They're worth $2.40. Uh, the more challenging uh, equation looks like this, 25 times Q, in other words, the, the worth of the value of the quarters, plus uh, five, not 10. Okay, I can't draw the number five. Five N equals 240 cents. So there's your two equations. You can use substitution or elimination, whatever you want to use to solve those, and there you go. Once you've got that method figured out, you just keep using that for anything. It doesn't have to be quarters and nickels. It could be shoes and glasses. It could be, uh, I'm trying to think what two things go together, um, you know, tacos and stomach aches, or anything like that. You can stick those together, and you got it. And the same method applies. So you'll come up with two equations. So let's do one here. All right, now we're dealing with tickets, okay? Tickets for a flight from Smellville to Nostril City are $30 for first class and $20 to $5 for tourist class. These are cheap tickets, okay? A flight had 52 passengers who paid $1,360 total. How many first class passengers were there? Okay, so let's break this down. Let's visualize this. We got tickets to a flight, okay? There are two types of tickets. We got first class and we got tourist class, okay? The, the flight has 52 passengers, okay? This is first class and tourist class. All together, there's 52 of them, okay? They paid $1,360 total for the flight. Now we need to figure out which is which, okay? This is exactly the same thing as a coin problem, okay? So we have uh, 52 passengers, that's our first thing, all right? So if you have some uh, tourist class and you have some first class and there's 52 of them together, how do you write that as an equation? Yeah, you're gonna go, okay, well, you know, we'll call them first class plus tourist class. There are 52 of them, right? That's how you do it. Just like you would say, oh, Charlie had 20 nickels and dimes. You would go N plus D equals 20, okay? And the other way, let's go back. And let's remember, Charlie has, two, you know, all this lumped together is worth $2.40. The way you do that is you go, okay, one type times however much it's worth, plus the other type times however much it's worth is gonna be the entire total. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing on this one, okay? So we got $30 for first class, so we can just put 30 times F. And we can cut 25 for tourist class, so 25 times T. Remember on the previous one we said, oh, the whole thing is $2.40, $240. So we say the entire thing is this. So that's gonna give us our total right there. There you go, okay? So you can either do, uh, you know, substitution or elimination. Let's try substitution since this is uh, looking pretty easy here. So let's go ahead and write F is equal to 52 minus T. And this will stick right there. So we got 30 times 52 minus T plus 25T equals 1360, all right? 30 times 52 is 1560. You could do that on calculator if you want to. Minus 30T plus 25T equals 1360. All right, well these two, we're gonna get a negative 5T here. And we're gonna get 1360 minus 1560. That's pretty straightforward, that's negative 200. And five goes into 24 times. So it goes into 240 times. So we have uh, tourist class, we have 40 of them. Well, obviously, we have to have then 12 for first class, right? Since 40 uh, and 12 give you 52. We can check this if we want to. Let's just for the heck of it, we'll say we're going to do that. If you had uh, 12 first class, 12 times $30, 12 times 3 is 36. So 12 times 30 is 360. And if you had 40, 
tourist class, $40, excuse me, 40 passengers times $25, four times 25 is 100, four times 40 times 25 is 1,000. Add those together and you will get right there, which proves we're right. So that's one way to look at it. Just, just think of these as coin, all these are coin problems. They're all, it doesn't matter. What, if you have two things that are unknowns, you approach it exactly the same way as you do coins. Okay, Dr. Nutfield's sandwich shop sold llama sandwiches for $20 and ostrich burgers for $45. No vegetarian menu. And these have a lot of gluten too in them. The shop made $1,375 one day. They sold 20 more sandwiches than burgers. How many of each were sold? Okay, and again, this is a coin problem. Okay, so the shop sold 20 more sandwiches than burgers. Okay, so sandwiches, let's call it S, it's going to be the same as B plus 20, right? And that's your first equation. The second equation is to figure out the whole big shebang using the different values, like 25 cents for a quarter and 10 cents for a, what is that thing called again? Dime. Okay, anyway. Same thing here using this and using this and using that, okay? We know something plus something is going to equal 1375, right? Okay, so we go sandwiches are $20. So we're going to go, okay, fine, 20 times S, plus you tell me what's the next thing. Forty-five times B, right? There we go. It's a heck of a burger. I don't want one of those drumsticks. That'd be enough for that anyway. Okay, so there's your equation. So pause this and go ahead and solve for S and B. Okay, well if you did substitution, S is the same thing as B plus 20, so I'm going to put 20 times B plus 20 plus 45B equals 1375. Okay, so 20B plus 20 times 20 plus 45 times B equals 1375. So I got 20, I got 45, which gives me 65. 1375 minus 400 is 975. And if you want to go ahead and use a calculator, that's not that big of a deal. So we find out that B is equal to 15. Okay. Well, they sold 20 more sandwiches than burgers, which means they're going to have to sell 15 plus 20. And there you go. It's going to be 35. If you wanted to, you could put this all in here. And by the way, if you get some answer, oh, I got the answer. 47.6. Well, you don't sell 47.6 sandwiches or burgers or, you know, uh, you know, I don't know if it's so. How many toddlers, you know, went to the store? Oh, 47.2. That's sick, man. I mean, anyway, so make sure there's an integer for these. You can check this if you want to make sure that they, all this, if you multiply together, how much each one is and how many you sold, should equal $1,375 for that. Okay, let's take a look at the B here. There's a basketball game. Adults' tickets are five. Children's are two. And they made a total of this. Well, let's do the 175 tickets first. 175 tickets are sold. We get adult plus children is 175. All right. If adult are five dollars a piece, children are two dollars a piece. We made 686 total. What I'll do is you could do anything you want. Substitute, eliminate, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, elimination. I'll multiply everything by two, and I'll get 350 here. All right, I will subtract to get rid of seeds here. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And 350 minus 686 is the same thing as doing that backwards, which would give me 336, but give me a negative. And okay, and uh, 3 into that would be 100, and then 3 into 36 is 12. So we have 112 adult tickets. All right, well, if there's 112 adult tickets, the children must be... 175 minus that, so we have 63 children. And if we wanted to check this, we could. I mean, 112 times 5 is going to be what? $560, right? Okay, if we have 63 times 2, we did the arithmetic, that'd be 126. Add those together, you get 686. Bingo, there you go. Okay, see you guys next time. Take care.